Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our video. In today's video, we have a brand new absolute driving update. This update's the August 4th update. This update adds two new cars, two new models for cars, first person on controller, press Y to activate it, new cash system, active arrow features on new cars, convertible features on the 2-2. Okay, that's a, I think that's a car actually that got added. And we also got some chassis improvements. That's super nice. Um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so our first new car looks like it's the Lamborghini Rev Vuelta right here. This thing has a speed of 9.6, acceleration of 9, handling of 10, and braking of 10. And this thing costs 890k now. This is just my opinion. Something looks a bit off with the model. I don't know what it is, but something doesn't look right. Um, yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and buy it anyways. Oh, it says I already own it. Okay, I don't remember buying it, but I guess I own it. Alright, here we have the McLaren Senna. I believe this is a remodel, correct me if I'm wrong. This thing has a speed of 9, acceleration of 8.6, handling of 9, and braking of 10. This thing's a million bucks, and I already own this one as well. Okay, um, the next new car, I definitely don't own this. Okay, so this is the Koenig Sega Gera 1 to 1. In game, they call it the 2 to 2. Um, this thing has a speed of 9.9, .9, acceleration of 9, handling of 9.8, braking of 10. This thing looks sick. We're, we're gonna have to buy that for sure. All right, there we go, I think we own it now. Amazing. And hold up, it's kind of weird that um, the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 is cheaper than the normal Koenigsegg Ajera. Cause like the 1 to 1 is supposed to be like a fancier version of the Ajera, so I don't know why it's cheaper. Um, then it looks like we have a Bugatti Chiron remodel. This model looks sick. This is a really nice model here. We got a speed of 9.6, acceleration of 9, handling of 10, and braking of 10 on this. $2.9 million price tag on it. And there we go, we've purchased the car. All right, let's go ahead and check everything out now. Okay, so today I'm just gonna showcase the one-to-one. -one. We're gonna showcase the new chassis, the new roof off and on feature, and we're gonna check out how the customization is for this car. So let's start off with the roof. I believe we hit R, that removes the roof. That looks sick. Okay, but now I wanna see how we can spec this car. So is the interior color changeable? Let's see. It is not, what? Dang, that's unfortunate. I thought it would be changeable for sure. Um, in that case, then I have a pretty cool spec idea in mind. I think I'm gonna go with a gray primary color. Maybe like a dark gray like this. Perfect. Secondary paint, I think I'm gonna go with a red, just like that, to match the interior caliper paint. We go with that red as well. And there we have it, a beautiful spec. Okay, so a few things that got changed with the cars. First off, we got active aero now, so if you see, the spoiler moves whenever I hit on the brakes. I just have to be going a bit fast to do it, so just like that, you'll see the spoiler moves. And I believe they also made the cars more stable at top speed, so they don't spin out as easy. I've also just noticed you get like kind of a drive score, just like when you're in Forza or Drive World. When you're driving around, you get a score. And let's see if we get a drift score as well. We're gonna hit a little drift up here. Okay, so I believe there's no drift score, but we do get a drive score now. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's miles or something else or money. I believe that's probably money. Yeah, why would that be miles? It's most likely money, I believe. So I guess I'm making that much. Let's see. So my money should go up by like 3,000. Yep. Okay, so that's how much money you make while driving, I guess. That's pretty cool. So it showcases it right here while you're driving. You can make that much. Imagine like you grind a whole day and you're just driving in circles all day. You'll have like a million right there. That'd be sick. Yeah, anyways, I do want to test out if they actually made cars more stable at top speed, so I believe we're going top speed right now, actually. Yeah, cars seem a lot more stable when turning at top speed, because they used to spin out a bunch. Obviously, if you hit a wall, of course it's going to spin out, but they used to just, like, spin out way easier at top speed, so I believe they've changed up the chassis a bit with that. That's very good. Okay, so I've just asked the owner of the game why you can't change the interior color and he actually told me that you will be able to very soon But it will be getting added maybe in an update or so when they redo the paint system So we might be getting a new customization and paint system very soon, which is pretty exciting But I believe I'm gonna go ahead and try to find a cool race to take this car on so let's go ahead and do that Okay, I feel like a perfect race for this car would be the highway race. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that race right now Okay, I'm on the highway race and I'm gonna be quite honest this does not look like a highway right here in my opinion, but hey, that's just my opinion. You know, maybe it's the highway for this game, but it doesn't really look like a highway. And oh, we just missed a checkpoint. Okay, anyways, cue a time lapse of the race. Something I just noticed that they might want to fix is if you didn't see there, the drive score is covering up the highway race UI. So maybe have the drive score lowered or smaller so it doesn't cover up the UI. 
And also, I would recommend having checkpoints on both sides of the highway so people don't miss uh, the checkpoint. Oh god, that was a horrible crash right there. We just like flipped and spun out at the same time. Oh god, that was, that was very bad. All right, and we finished the highway race and we got $18,000 from it. I wish it showed how much um, time we took though. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, I would say this car did pretty good on the race besides the fact that I'm a horrible driver. But yeah, this car is pretty cool. Okay, now before we wrap up today's video, I know I've said this a lot, but we need to give this game a bit more time so they can release the revamp for it. They're adding new map, new customization, all that stuff that all these other car games have. Obviously, all the other car games have been out for way longer. This game's only been out for a few weeks, so give them time to add all the cool features. But unfortunately, today's video is over. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to see more absolute driving, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.